Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and Logic Pro X has just been updated to Logic X 10.3. With that .3 update, we get loads of new features and I figured let's go ahead, put together a quick video and uh, take a look at what's new. And also, we're gonna open up Logic 10.3 together for the first time, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So off the bat, we do get a new splash screen. Okay, so what's new in Logic Pro X? Support for the touch bar on the new MacBook Pros. You can view your entire project at a glance and navigate with touch in the timeline overview. You can adjust smart controls on the selected track and fine tune your sounds. Play and record softer instruments using a musical keyboard with piano keys or scale mode. So I guess you, I guess you got like a small piano on that touch bar. You can trigger drum pads as well on the touch bar and access your favorite shortcuts using a set of customizable key commands. Now I'm not sure that is too helpful because shortcuts are meant to be on the keyboard, but you have that option if you wanted it. Also with the 10.3 update, you get an updated interface. With Logic, there were many complaints that it's too dark and they wanted it lighter. Well, now you have it. Lighter interface improves legibility in a variety of lighting conditions. Uh, expanded color palette that offers 24 more colors to label your regions. That actually is helpful even though it may sound very minute. Uh, I always wanted more colors to label my tracks. Uh, horizontal auto zoom helps keep everything in view and new region editing design uh, reveals waveform for entire audio file while trimming. Okay, that's pretty cool. Audio production, track alternatives if you like create switch between different playlists. In the description box below, I'll let you know exactly what has been updated in Logic Pro X. But right now, I'm super excited just to open it up and see what the new interface looks like. Also, before we do that, uh, GarageBand has also been updated on iOS. And it's pretty cool because now you can actually load Logic sessions on your iOS device GarageBand app. And uh, I'm not too sure how that works yet. I'm gonna have to try it out myself to see what actually happens when you save as a GarageBand file. Yeah, but uh, I'll let you know on that one. So let's go ahead and click continue. I guess we're gonna have to open up a new session. That's how I set up my logic when I open it up. And off the bat, I already notice different color scheme. All the grays are lighter. So this main one is lighter, that's lighter. I uh, got some new icons over here, looks super bright. Um, I'm not sure, I'm kind of digging it at the moment. Uh, new fonts as well. Definitely, definitely more modern. It did need a facelift. And uh, I guess this is what Logic thinks, or Apple thinks Logic should look like. Let's just open up some uh, tabs and settings, see what everything looks like. So definitely, definitely got a complete interface overhaul. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think it does look pretty cool. Uh, definitely getting used to this because uh, I'm used to the darker scheme. Let's see what happens on my piano roll. Oh, you also got different icons here when you drag the region. So because I have set the white background, it still looks the same way. I guess if you have the dark background, it's gonna be a little lighter as well. That's pretty cool. You got some new icons as well here. These look kind of updated and newer, if you will. Uh, they're saying you can change to different colors on the region. Let's see that, here's the colors. It says 24 more colors, but um, I don't remember exactly what colors were before. I kind of wish that we have a color picker in Logic X and could choose your own color rather than selecting from these, but uh, I guess that's just a side note for a future update. So there are uh, other updates in this 10.3 uh, update. Now I'm not gonna go through them because they're pretty self-explanatory. What I did wanna show you guys is the updated interface and what Logic looks like in its 10.3 state. And here it is right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you like the look of Logic's new interface in 10.3. And I'm gonna go ahead and play around with some of the new features and um, I'll let you know how that works out maybe in my future tutorial videos. So once again, feel free to share your thoughts on Logic 10.3 right here in the comments below. If you got yourself a new MacBook Pro, let us know what you think about the touch bar and how it works with Logic X. Talk to y'all soon, later, peace.